and welcome back to another video so in this video i really wanted to do the popular or seeming to be coming popular sort of nude nail with rainbow encapsulated shapes um i don't have a matte top coat something i've never got on with but i wanted to try it and just see what it looks like shiny so I've put Nude Mood down from Gel Perfection, which is a gorgeous nude. And I've just taken out of my stackers some rainbow shapes. This is a base coat that I'm now applying. And I will cure that for 60 seconds after I've put my shapes in. So to pop my shapes in, I don't know what I'm using. Okay, I'm using my tweezers this time. So... Just picking those shapes up and popping them into that wet base coat and then I will cure for 60 seconds. The beauty of using gel is that it won't cure. So you can fiddle around with it for as much as you want. The stackers I was showing you a minute ago, they're not bought as stackers i have decanted my glitters into trays and stackers if you want to see that video have a look on the channel the video will be up before this one goes up at just how i've rearranged my glitter storage i must have 200 glitters easy so once I'm happy there, I'm going to cure and I'm going to add a layer of base coat again. These shapes are super thin. I know that these shapes did come from diamond glitters. So you can get these from there. And when I'm happy, I'm going to cure that. And I'm just putting the base coat on just purely to, to smooth out the surface as much as I can. I'm going to wipe off and file to refine as i said in my previous videos there's no fancy filming on this one you are sat on top of that roll of kitchen roll and i am filing like a bit of an idiot because i'm just desperately trying not to scratch my own nails i'd already got gel polish over them and around them an additional pigment from doing the other videos i think i did six six different videos last night and i ended up retop coating three of my nails because <laughs> i got gel polish on them that was cured and scratched them but i was really trying not to but it happens doesn't it taking me forever to file but i usually leave filing out of my videos so i thought i would leave it in this time this is a 180 grit file from diamond glitters i love these files they last forever i used to use nsi files and they just went flimsy, they were awful, like really awful. And it wasn't just me who said it, like a lot of people agreed with me. Um, I then went on to using Nail Harmony files. I tried one and I thought, oh my God, this is amazing. Um, but I don't use Polygel anymore. And I, if I can, I just like to order from one place. Like, it was just easier, you know, I could pick up, I could pick up NSI files from my local wholesalers. You know, that wasn't a problem. When I used acrylic, I just ordered everything for CJP. Everything was CJP. It was all one brand. And I think since I've become allergic to the monomer, the, 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 the smell from monomer, no matter what brand it was, I've just been on this massive journey <laughs> to try and find something, you know... So I'm wiping off now, back to the video, gone off on one. Um, 
I'm just blowing it there because I love it matte. I've seen the velvet top coat, the velvet matte top coat that's being trialled at the moment by the Gel Perfection ladies. It's amazing. Now, this isn't my Diamond Glitters top coat. I've got some stuff from another brand and I'm going to try and use that up on my display tips because I just think it's pointless to use my Diamond Glitter stuff if I don't have to. My Gel Perfection, I love it. It has got bubbles in this top coat and it fucking stinks. I forgot how much it stunk. I don't know if you can see the bubbles in it. It's not it's not a good quality, but it's more expensive. So anyway, that is the finished video. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.